Hi and welcome to Annalise Maths. Today we're going to be looking at fractions from the entry three level point of view. There's three videos in total in fractions. This is the first of three. So the criteria for Edexcel is know the words thirds, quarters, fifths and tenths and the symbols that go with these. Understand that the bottom number of the fraction indicates the number of equal parts in the whole. Understand that a unit fraction is one part of a whole divided into equal parts. Understand a non-unit fraction is several equal parts of a whole. Understand that in unit fractions, the larger the denominator, the smaller the fraction. And understand that when the top and bottom number are the same, this is equivalent to one. We're going to look at these today. So our keywords for today are thirds, quarters, fifths, tenths, whole number and shapes. The most common place where people lose marks in this particular topic is people are quite happy that a fraction is a whole thing. So, for example, a strip or a circle or a pizza or a cake. Um, people are not so understanding when it's a group of objects. Now, in the fractions of an amount video, we'll be looking at this in further detail. Also, learners may lack understanding that fractions can be equivalent, meaning the same. Um, we'll be looking at that in our Simplifying Fractions video. So let's talk about what a fraction actually is. A fraction is made up of two numbers. The top number is called the numerator and the bottom number is called the denominator. Um, these words are not needed for entry three criteria. However, it is good that we start calling things by the proper names as soon as possible. So our numerator in this example is the two, the denominator is the five. So our denominator tells us how many parts is in the whole and the numerator is telling us how many parts we have. So this is an example of a non-unit fraction. So a unit fraction is when the number on the top is one. We'll be looking at those shortly. A non-unit fraction is when it's not a one on the top. So as you can see, this non-unit fraction shows something has been split into five bits and we have two of those parts. One thing to remember is when our top number and our bottom number are both the same, it's equivalent to one. So it's saying a whole. So if I've got four quarters of a pizza, I've got a pizza cut into four bits and I have all four of those. So when our numerator and our denominator are the same, it's equivalent to one. As I say, a unit fraction has a one as the numerator. In cases of unit fractions, the larger the denominator, the smaller the actual fraction. So as represented by these, I've got a sixth. So I've got something split into six pieces and I've got one. I've got a third split into three and I've got one and I've got a half split into two and I've got one. So when we see unit fractions, the bigger the number on the bottom, the smaller the fraction actually is. We need to be happy with these following fractions. What I would like you to do is I would like you to see if you can write the names for these fractions and if you can draw a rectangle to represent, draw a rectangle and colour it in to represent what these fractions would look like. So pause this video now and give this a go, please. Okay, let's see how you got on. So hopefully one over two is a half and that's two one a shape cut into two pieces of which one is colored one over three is known as a third one over four is a quarter one over five is one fifth and one over ten is one tenth these are the five that we need to be happy with for entry level maths sometimes as you'll see in later videos uh, we might get asked one find one quarter of a quantity and one quarter is written in words so we need to be happy that that is one over four so in this video, we looked at the words thirds, quarters, fifths and tenths and their symbols. We looked at the fact that the bottom number, the denominator, is how many equal parts the whole has been broken into. We looked at the fact that a unit fraction has a one on the top. Uh, we looked at the fact that a non-unit fraction, like two fifths at the beginning, showed us that it was more than one of those fifths. 
Uh, we looked at how a larger the denominator, the smaller the fraction in unit fractions. And we looked at when both of them were the same, it was equivalent to one. Hopefully this video was helpful. Best of luck with your studies. Any questions, pop them in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks, bye.